when the gunshot, I mean they in my room, they take out some clothes out of my barrel, I stop, I say, I hear gunshot. I say, um, I hope that nobody gets shot. So I stop and I come out and I come up the veranda with my two grandsons and I lean over and I say like this, I say, um, why them boy not behave themselves? I said then there it is gone. Why they not behave themselves? And then I lean over. But I want to go back there. I see crowd they run the side and crowd they run run that side back there. I say I want to go back there, but I still lean my head over. So my son in law come and he said like this to me. He said, Bam, you're not going back there? He said, Suppose that we I said, No, I don't think that he can he must be done gone home already. So he said, I remember every morning he come up here before heal you before he go to work? I said, yes. I said, he always come heal me. I said, you know what? Make her own go. And I saw me and this young lady, Delverine, we hurry run and gone. And I did there with me, rest of family then back there. And we don't hear nothing till somebody come and say, that way. And I said, oh my God. I said, my God. I said, oh, I said, make her go go see. Make her go ask the police then if I could go see body down there. And I saw I gone. And well I will tell the police then tell me for come. I will tell the police then tell me for for go in and I saw a gun in me and my comadre and I gone and I identify the body and I say on side way. Like you know the two handed like we need to fix the car van or something. And I say like this I say Hmm, I shake me. The police then say, uh, come more close. I tell them no. I don't say uh, all the blood, then the, the blood, the down there, everything. So, he say, um, I say, I don't say I'm going. I just got to identify it. I said, I'm a nephew.